Welcome to the injury update brought to you by Blackmores. Sadly, I've got a report that uh, Levi Greenwood has a slight fracture in his, uh, in his ankle. Um, and that will mean that he'll be off it for about six weeks. And then after that, he'll be able to, however long it takes him to run again. So it'll be six plus, which is uh, disappointing for him, but um, I'm sure he'll overcome that. And also from, from the point of view of Ben Reid, there's so much talk about whether he'll get up for round one. We're gonna try and take that out of the equation. Our, our issue with Reedy is to make sure he's ready for the season proper. He's coming on very well. He's played about seven quarters in the last couple of weeks. So we'll back him off for a day or two. He'll, he'll probably be running a little bit later in the week just to build him up again. Uh, now he may get there for round one, but that's certainly not the main objective. The objective is for him to play the, the season proper. So it's probably less likely than likely, but he is going very well. Tyson Goldsack uh, has had a slight shoulder issue on the weekend, but he'll, he'll be fine. Yeah, so there's a few other longer termers. Um, uh, Brenton McCaffer is uh, longer term in that um, he's on the long term injury list, so he can't play. He won't play until uh, just after Anzac, though. And he's going reasonably well. Um, Matthew Scharenberg is probably going is a bit will be quicker than that, um, but he's going to have that as as I think we said last week the three or four weeks work into it when he when he plays. And um, and Young, he's had a pretty pretty reasonable week last week with his hammy, but he's still a little way away, as is Lockie Keefe. And and the really positive is that uh, uh, Marsh, Seedsman and Moore all played in the uh, practice game on Friday and will play again on Thursday in the game, in the BFL game against Richmond. So they're well on the way.